Today we're doing a bit of diagnosing. So a commenter, viewer, commenter, viewer, subscriber, whoever, what you ever want to call them, sent me an email saying they've had a diesel here that's never worked. Uh, I think, well, I can't remember the email did you get. They sent them out a new controller and a new ECU and neither of those two things make it work any differently. So here it is, he has given it to me to see if I can get it working. They replaced his heater for him, they gave him a new heater. So this one is a surplus heater they would like to use in his garage, workshop, shed, whatever. So we have to try and get it running. So the first thing, I keep saying so, stop saying so. The first thing that you test when someone says, oh my thing doesn't work is, you try and replicate the fault. You make sure it does the thing that they said it does. I've just gone ahead and used my fuel pump and my controller and my wiring because we'll assume it's not the controller or the fuel pump or the wiring because it does try to start, it does try and run. The fault is, it doesn't run, it doesn't light, it just produces white smoke. So I will fire the diesel heater up, we'll press and go, we'll turn it on and we'll see if it does what it says it does. I can see the fan running, I can hear the fan running, I can see the current on the power supply going up, so the glow plug is doing something. That doesn't mean it's doing the right thing, it just means it's doing something. Something is going to draw uh, a lot of amps. There we go, so that's 5 amps. Drawing it, so we'll see what happens once the fuel pump kicks in. Okay, okay, the, f the fuel pump has started pumping. The glow plug is drawing 8 amps. Let me bring you down to the exhaust, the output. And you see the white smoke like a smoke machine. No, <coughs> it is, it's moving, so it's not, it is being blown, blown out, because if I plug up the air intake it stops. So we've got some flow of air through that. But it does not light. It just continues to be a smoke machine. Glow plug's still on. Fuel pump's getting faster, fan's getting faster. Uh, we're slowly filling, filling up the smoke in here. Uh, I might just turn the extractor fan on. I have activated the extractor fan. Fan's getting faster, fuel's getting faster, still not lighting. Okay, let's turn off. We have confirmed the diagnosis that the diesel heater does not start, that it only produces white smoke. What we do now is we take it all apart. Right, let's strip it apart and we'll uh, maybe time lapse this bit because we don't really need to. Oh wow, that's that's really stuck on there. Right, okay, I finally got the screws at the bottom. It's interesting, I haven't actually seen a set that's got bolts that bolt in the way before. It's always been studs poking out the heater and, uh, you know, nuts going to the bottom of it. So we will now remove the exhaust, as it's even shot. Is it? <laughs> Mostly in shot, there we go. Slightly better. Ah, ah. That might be a problem. Hold on. Let me uh, bring you down for a look. So that's the outlet for the exhaust. That's definitely not going to uh, help with combustion. I can't believe anything was coming out of that. Like anything at all. Oh well, right, let us take the rest of the heater apart and see what the rest of the inside looks like. Sorry, motion sickness. So, yes, uh, that looks a little bit clogged. Hopefully, that's maybe just the problem. So, we shall take out the glow plug. We'll take out the glow plug and we'll see how, how it looks in there. Or we'll we just whip the head off it. Okay, I'm just going with option A of, we'll take it all apart and go from there. 
That comes out, that comes off. Let's see what's in behind door number two. Uh, it's a bit dirty, can you see? It's got a bit of crust stuck to the top of it, but it's not horrendous. Can we peer inside the... Uh, can you see? You can see in there better than I can. Uh, the mesh is actually... It's not, it's not terrible. It's not entirely crusted and crudded over. Let us proceed into the burn chamber. Oh, oh, this is, it's a bit, it's a bit black inside. It's not, it's not, it's not terrible, terrible, but it's not great. Inside's a bit, ugh, yuck. Actually, very yuck, to be fair. Let me, it's very difficult to uh, actually show you on a black, shiny surface with, Camera's not doing a good job, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the brake cleaner out and uh, see what I can do with that. Clean up some of this and I'll do the same for this and we'll try and get it all clean and shiny. I'll bring you back once I've, uh, I'll see how I get on with the brake cleaner. I forgot the one bit that we didn't look at was the flame front uh, ignition hole and it looks pretty blocked to me. So we'll clean that as well. I have returned with a pick. So this hole, this little teeny, teeny tiny hole here. If this hole is blocked, your diesel heater will not light or be very, very difficult to light. And it's chock full. It's absolutely solid. Absolutely solid. Getting this mesh out may be a challenge. What you should do is have a spare mesh here. Oh, I do. Wait. Where's my other burn chamber? I've lost a burn chamber. What I should just do is see if I can swap this for the other burn chamber. And I need to go and rake about and find my spare burn chamber. Success! After a little bit of dicking around, I found my... Well, it's nearly brand new. It's been used once or twice for experiments, but it's all good, it's all clean, it's... Uh, Diesel, diesel hole, the diesel flame front hole is nice and clear. So what we'll do is we will just rebuild with this one because it's, wait, it's not exactly the same. Or is it? Yes, it is. It is exactly the same, exact same size. The hole shouldn't match. So we'll rebuild it with this, clean the exhaust out and see if it fires up. I should maybe Empty the brake cleaner out of it first, because, well, that would be interesting. Ah, oh, I need to give it a good scrape as well. Get all this nastiness off. Ugh, it's filthy in there. Oh, it's really filthy. Okay, I'll clean this. I'll bring you back once we're reassembled. Alrighty, the replacement burn chamber is in, the one that's nice and clean inside and the mesh is clean, the hole's clean. We just have to put the glow plug, give it a little a little wipe, will probably be enough, I think. Like I say, it's only a bit of surface dirt that's on it, and the glow plug was still working, as we still had eight, eight amps, or eight or nine amps when it was running, so we'll Thread this back in. It's a little bit crunchy, but that's okay. Actually, thread it in. Give it a little nip up. Just a little. I have to be crazy tight, just, just so it doesn't leak. That'll do me. Am I, am I happy at that? Am I going for. Yes, right. That one. Blown water. Or more spins. Having spins for nice and freely. It's going round. Doesn't appear to have any 
Any blockage in there? No, looks pretty clean. It looks like a little bit dusty, but... A little bit dusty, nothing terrible. <laughs> looks alright. Put that back on there. Nope, nope, nope. Missing the gasket. Where'd you do the gasket, David? Where's the gasket? Put the gasket back on. You nearly made a fatal flaw there. Who was shouting out, put the gasket back on, moron? Right. Four cap heads, and we'll be nearly back in business. Okay, she's all back together. Somebody asked me in a previous video if you can run these on their side. Yes, as long as the glow plug is at the top. So if you're, goodbye screwdriver, get off. If your burn chamber is orientated, well, it's orientated this way in this heater, like that. So that would be a glow plug, and that's your little hole for the flame front. So as long as that's sitting facing up, these will won't leak out up the way. So you can sit it quite happily this way and it will burn quite happily lying on its side. Right, let me move the flammables cause let's face it, it's still got a brake cleaner in it. And well, I'm not that bothered about it catching fire cause it's gonna catch fire anyway at some point. What I do need is a little um, Blast and diverter. Oh, I'll have uh, shielding here to protect my doings. All right, that, that. So, let us give her some fuel. I think I may even uh, go and put some more fuel in the fuel thing. I have added new fuel and connected it back in, plugged it in. Power supply on. Let's fire her up. Still spins. The glow plug is on. Oh, you'll be able to see this. This is fine. This is fine. I just need to wait for the glow plug to glow up and then I'll bring you back once the fuel starts fueling. Well, there's certainly smoke coming out of it at a rapid rate. I'm going to just stand back over here. Ladies and gentlemen, she's lit. Well, pretty much all you can see is smoke in my back and here it's lit. Thankfully the extractor fan is on, so we'll be all right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run it uh, maximum attack. So we'll turn this all the way up. Maybe. If it... I hate this controller, I wish it would just accept my full inputs. Well, I say it's lit, it's mostly lit, I can hear it whomping. So, we'll go 4 hertz. There she goes. So, get all that shit out. Oh yes. This is going to take a little bit to clear. Ah, oh, she's running. The glow plug is now off and it has a self-sustaining button. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let that not stand in the way of the thing. I'm going to let that run that amount of fuel through at full power and then I'll bring you back hopefully once the smoke's cleared. Right, so Billy Seater uh, runs fine. Uh, there was a lot of blue smoke. I had to open all the doors and turn the fans on and hunker down on the floor and stay out of its way. So now that I've got it running, I've swapped back to his original fuel pump, his wiring and his controller and I've tweaked the settings in his controller because they were set for a lot of fuel lots and lots of fuel so I don't know if it's run once and it's been running with that much fuel in it 
that it's clogged up, or I don't know, or if sawdust has got into it or something, but I'm going to fire it back up now on his wiring controller fuel pump, make sure it all runs again, and then I'll be able to give it back and say, congratulations, you can put it in your shed now and have a nice warm shed for the winter. So, if your diesel heater does not start up and fires out nothing but white smoke, uh, check your exhaust to make sure it's not blocked, and open your heater up and make sure that that hole in your burn chamber is clear, because that is the flame front establishing hole when it's doing its initial glow and putting a little bit of uh, diesel in. A lot of the air goes through this, into this burn chamber, but also a little bit of air goes in here to mix with the diesel, uh, you know, the evaporating diesel that's in there to start the flame. Then once it's up and running, you've got a flame match in there, then the air through here will mix with the diesel and you'll have combustion. But if you don't get the flame front, basically it just keeps blowing all the combustion gases out past it and they never get a chance to ignite. So, white smoke, no light, check hole. Thanks for watching. Thank you.